This week I planned a completely different topic to speak about. I thought to speak about using lingo and idioms and slang in your presentations. But I'm changing my, my mind and I'm switching over to a new topic. So I am interrupting our regular scheduled programming for a different topic. Because it's something that I want to share with you and also would like to find out if you are in a similar or a same space as where I am at the moment. What I want to talk to you about is my personal experience with my energy and my mood since COVID. So pre-COVID, I was more like a helium balloon at the beginning of the year, all puffed up and ready and energized. And just like a helium balloon, I would slowly lose energy um, throughout the year until December when it was okay. time to have a good break, time to re-energize and um, go on holiday and see my family and renew. And then January back in Germany, all good, ready to go for the year. But what I've noticed in the last months, and specifically from the beginning of this year, 2021, um, I'm more like a disastrous revenue graph <laughs> with being really up with my energy and my mood and then very quickly low in my energy and mood and up again and down and up and down. I have to say I'm probably in the best health position that I've ever been with workouts and good food. It's much easier if you don't travel four weeks per month. Um, but I definitely noticed the difference. So one day I would be flourishing and energetic and the next day I would feel low and like physically without energy. And sometimes it happens that at 11 o'clock I'm still going for it. And by one o'clock, it's, it's just all my energy is gone. I'm completely drained. Um, I also find that in the evenings, many times from about six o'clock, done, done, nothing more to, to offer. And that could actually be uh, because of all the Zoom <laughs> invites and Zoom calls that we are having at the moment where I am. So I wanted to firstly find out if you're in a similar position or what is your experience. So I'd love to see and read your comments uh, below. And also if you want to hit reply in the email in my newsletter and tell me directly, that will also be great to hear what is your current experience. And I want to um, share with you three things that's helped me in the past six months to bring myself back from low mood, low energy, um, and to be able to flourish again because it's necessary um, you know we've got careers I've got a business uh, we've got relationships and you know our life goes on and we want to flourish throughout our days so the first thing that really helps me is called 750 words so it was built on a book called the artist's way and it was it is actually directed at creatives, so writers or bloggers. And what they say is that if you write 750 words every day, your creative juices gets going. So you start to um, be more creative. And the advice for creators and writers is to, to write 750 words per day, and then you can start blog, blogging and creating your blogs and your content. So, of course, I did this because for me to write my weekly newsletter and to write my content every week, I need to be creative. And so I do that every morning. And what I've realized is that after that exercise, after the 750 words, I feel better. I would go from low energy to higher energy. I might have a more negative emotion. Don't really want to call emotions negative, but, you know, a, a more not positive emotion and I would switch over to a, a more positive emotion. So you can have a look at 750words.com so 750words.com you can create a user ID there or user profile and you can just do it every day. If you're more um, conservative and don't want to put all your thoughts out on the World Wide Web do what I do and just open up a Word document and I just look at the word count of the word document. 
So this one I can highly, highly recommend. Uh, you will see that your mood goes up and you feel better after that exercise. The second thing that helps me is movement. And I know this is not news or new information or groundbreaking advice, but I don't think we do it enough. I don't think people move enough. So um, what I do is 20 minutes every day and I'm not climbing mountains or running marathons or doing the Ironman every day, for sure not. But I burn calories, I go for walks, I do workouts, weights, whatever makes me feel better. And before and after, different mood. In their book, Burnout, the sisters Emily and Amelia Nagoski speak about this specifically. And they link it back to when we were in the in more primal ages, that when we saw danger, we ran. So still the brain associates movement from moving away from the danger or the threat. So your brain automatically feels that you've moved away from the, from the danger. That's not a very scientific explanation, but that's what I can offer you. <laughs> The third thing that I would like to share with you that helps me is to actually be creative. So do something, create something. Uh, like I'm now creating this vlog for you, that helps me a lot. When I'm on Instagram and I create my reels, that helps me a lot. Um, and creating doesn't always have to be arty. It can be, it doesn't have to be a painting or coloring. If you change your garden, that's being creative because you are designing and landscaping. If you are doing photography, then you are creating. Um, it can even be as simple as at work, creating a new process. It is creating. And the act of creating helps me as well because I get focused, I spend energy and I feel like I have created something, I've achieved something and that helps me as well. So um, that's what I want to offer to you today. And I also wanted to, to speak to you very honestly. I don't like to speak about my um, more challenging moments in, in these types of forums because first of all, I feel weak when I have low energy. I feel like I can't hack it. I can't stay in the race. I'm not good enough. So to admit it, it's not always easy and that is the emotion or the reaction that I have to when I get tired. I will work on that uh, self-limiting belief. But I also feel that people put a label on you. So the moment you admit that you're not having a great moment or a great day, um, people put labels on you and that's not fair. So that's also why I am not sharing these types of thoughts so widely and openly. But I think we're in the same boat or at least in the same storm in different places uh, in the world. And I wanted to say to you that some days you feel good and some days you don't. And we just go on and we take one step ahead and look after yourself, recover. And in a year, let's see where we are. All the very best. Have a great week. Bye for now.